right all right guys and um, this video right tutorial in this video tutorial we're going to make um, an awesome design so let's get this and started so once you've opened your canvas page click on the cross button to add up a page it will bring you up to this point so now you're going to go to custom size custom size will take you up to this point so on the width you put 20 32 on your height you put to eight uh six four pixel so you click on your create new design automatically your, uh, your page will be created okay so this is our page this is our page you understand so now let's go ahead and start up our design let's go ahead and start up our design the normal way click on our cross button to bring up this automatically it should be it will be on templates but that we don't go on that we'll go to elements elements then search for this particular tool how to get it you go to line and shapes then tap on c or tap on c or then scroll up scroll up scroll up scroll up look at the elements here you tap on the elements the element will be installed will be will be added to your page so you drag to the size you understand you drag to the size make sure you touch to the end you drag here make sure this other side touch touches to the end as well okay so you can now through this point you can rotate you can rotate the document do you see that so you take it down 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 until it gets to the grid grid line this is what is called grid lines so that's it so until this particular one gets to the grid then i can now adjust it did you see that so i will increase this increase this until it's out okay So now look at uh, what I've gotten so far. Let me make sure it gets to the grid. Yes. So it's okay that way. So after that, I'll go ahead and uh, there's a specific picture which I want to add to this uh, document. There's a specific picture which I want to add. So let me go ahead and get the picture. I'll go to my cross button, gallery. Let me check my own place if I have any picture already. Mm. Okay. Let me bring up this picture. Don't worry about the effects I'm applying now. Don't worry. Let me bring up this picture. But before we bring up the picture, we'll crop it. Before we bring it up, we we'll go to remove the BG and crop it already. Do you understand? So let me use this picture. Okay. You do see that. So this picture in particular now is not facing our work. We need to make it to face our work. So we'll go to we'll scroll, 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 scroll to this point. Look at it here. Did you see that to this point where it, where they wrote flip? So you click on flip, then select flip horizontal, flip horizontal. Did you see that it's now facing our, our work? So you can close and adjust this, drag to your desired size. Did you see that? Or you can drag to ensure it is actually facing our work. You do see all of that. So, let me make sure that it's facing our work. Let's go back. Okay. 
All right. Okay. So that's all for that. I can still bring this down small. Take it down a bit. Or take it down. Let me just bring this thing down a bit until it gets to this segment. So I to align with this. So I will just take it up. I'll take it down a bit. Take it down a bit until it gets to align with that. Okay. Excellent. I can still take this to the edge. Okay, let me just leave it this way. All right, so now let me just go ahead and start off with the design I want to make. Let me reduce this. So I'll just go ahead and click on the cross button and add a test. You understand? I can decide to select from already made tests i can decide to select from any of them do you understand uh test it, blah, blah, blah. i can scroll up scroll up scroll up to search if i will get anyone okay for my design but if i don't see any i'll just go back go back okay okay let me choose this i want this is okay for me i'll just click there once I tap there, automatically it will appear into my design. I can increase the font. Then, but before I can make use of this font now to edit, I'll just go to ungroup and ungroup everything. So once I've ungrouped everything, I'll click back to my document. Then I will delete the ones that I don't want. Things like this, I'll delete them. Things like this one, I'll delete it. Look at the one I need. That's the only one I need here. So I can increase it to the size I want. So, and what I actually want to write here is we are creative design agency. Do you understand? So I'll just tap here, edit. We are okay. We are creative. Enter design agency. Okay, so that's nice. Let me go ahead and reduce the font size. I will reduce the font size. I will reduce the font size to 150. Okay, so I'll make sure that I drag this so that it will be in the same line. Okay, did you see that? Okay, okay, okay. But let me let me change the fonts. Let me change this font. We are creative design agency. Blah, 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 blah. Let me let me go ahead and change this font. It's not okay. I'll go to font. Rawell heavy. Okay, poppins extra bold. I think this is better. Popping your trouble is better. Do you understand? So, if you are creative design agency, I'll go to format and reduce it to small cap, a small letter. Okay, did you see that? I'll reduce it to small letter. Then I will bold in it. I'll close. So this D, let me make it capital letter. Okay, let me go ahead and make everything small, small letter. The C here, small letter. The D here, small letter. The A here, small letter. You understand? It's only the W, the starting of the uh, statement that will be capital letter. So let me drag this closer. Then also the spacing of this of this font, I will reduce it to minus thirty nine and also the line spacing of this test i will reduce it i will reduce it to minus um zero point i will reduce it to zero point eighty eight then i'll close so i will still increase this a bit and take it to the angle which i want it to be 
So now, that's all for for that. Okay. So now, next the next step we are taking now is um call to action. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and, and, and add another test altogether. Then I tap on this call to us. Talk to us. Uh, let me select this talk to us so that we can use it. I will group it. Okay. Let me rewind this a bit. Okay. Then this uh, this contact list will be at the at the downside of of the design. Yes. No. To be at the down part of the design. I'll go to font size. Make sure that this one is at. Uh, 36 36 is okay so in anything you are doing try to zoom your work so that you can actually move around with your tools okay so that's all for that then this talk to us now i will still bring it back on that us you see that so now what are they talking to you for what are or what are they talking to you about you understand so i can equally decide to make this uh, uh -huh, to take this this way we are creative design agency to take it that way okay mm, yes i can equally decide to take it that way do you see that so can you equally decide to take it this way? That's very good. That's very good. That's very good. Okay, let me bring this so down. Then take this up to this point. Then take this up to this point. Did you see that? So let me take this back screen. So now let me try to continue from where my grid starts okay so we are creating design agency then let me add a let me go ahead and add in a little test to this i'll go to test add a subheading that's uh, subheading this particular this particular topic Okay, let me place it very well. Then I will edit. Um, let's design your brand. Design your brand. Uh, to get to your targeted uh, targeted audience. You understand okay so things like this let's turn your brand to get your targeted audience okay then you go to font select uh where is poppins poppins medium i think poppins medium is okay okay yeah or real well yes real well you know you use real well real well heavy in the in the title so now the subtitle subtitle to use ordinary hell real well so we reduce the font size reduce the font size uh, reduce the font size to 40 i think or 50 50 is, is okay so now the padding we we'll close the padding a bit we we'll drag it for you to do that you long press once you long press you to bring up this Round something along this along uh, along the test, then you can now increase your padding or reduce your padding. 
So that's how to go about with padding. Then you can now place your test where you want it to where you want it to be. Okay. So you can equally close it a bit. Go to spacing, the line spacing, close it a bit. If it's too much, you close it a bit, maybe 1.1. That's all. Okay. So then now the next thing now we will these are these top rows that we inserted. We edit it. Let me add it. Let me add the white color to it. This white color. So you talk to us. You can edit it to contact us. Reach out. So reach out. So reach out to us. Let me use that one. Reach out to us. You understand which has to us okay so i will take it in then take this in so that it won't go against our margin so that's for it then i will edit my number you say plus two thirty four slash Eight one three nine. Eight one three nine zero five two. Six uh, six five. Zero eight one three nine. Eight one three nine zero five two. One six five. One six five. Okay, so I can edit the second one. I'll go ahead and edit the second one. Plus two three four slash zero eight three four one. Four zero nine zero eighty two thirty four one okay one four zero zero. I'm trying to remember my this there okay one four zero zero okay so now my email info for I have a website but don't bother about this for you. I know it might be difficult for you about this info, so just go ahead and put your normal email until you get a website, until you get a business uh, website. So, uh, let me use my normal Gmail, so now I can talk. So now I can talk. Oh, wow. Let me do it. So now I can talk at gmail.com. All right. So now I can talk at gmail.com. Okay. So that's my official business Gmail. Okay. So make sure they reach out to us. Then we we'll change the font size or the font type of this. Put it on back to that real well heavy that we use for our for our heading. Because it is coming is actually calling uh, to order. Do you understand? So that's what you are going to use again. You see that how you see that how it looks. Okay. Then this one we select go take it back to that our real well the normal real well we used do you understand do you see that because while working don't make use of too much test don't make use of too much uh, diff uh, different kinds of fonts because that's actually spoils work do you understand so now I want us to color this this shape. Do you understand? So we'll go to color. Click on the cross sign. 
then select this color picker tool this color picker tool click there drag this thing close to our close to the clothes of this uh, the where this man is running okay you see this color now you see this color you see the color i'm getting i'm targeting that blue color you see the color oh well, no i'm not again okay i'll drag until i get the what i want then do you see that color and that's what i want done you see that then i'll close this definitely i've gotten what i want you do see that i've gotten what i want so now let me go ahead this reach out to us let me go ahead and color it with the yellow color of the shirt which this man is wearing so i'll just go to color see the elements from the picture there look here any picture you apply have photo color look at the photo colors from the photo which you applied did you see that so i'll just go ahead and select this one this is what i want this particular one reach out to us you see that it's actually the same color with the clothes which this man is wearing so reach out to us you see that he's calling us to action so now we are creative design agency blah 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 let's design your brand uh, and get your targeted audience so now uh, from now yeah like now you're okay you've passed the information you can add any other thing you want to add to switch up your design but the main thing you want to do these are the main thing you want to do the information you want to pass because your design is information do you understand so now this is a picture of someone uh demonstrating with his hand that that they are creative design agency so he's telling you to uh, partner with them let's design your brand to get your targeted audience do you understand let's design your brand to get your to get your targeted audience so now with a call to order with a call to order you understand then the, the contact and the uh, gmail for business uh, proposal and all of that so i think for now this this all for for today's class do you understand for now this is all for today's class you can add some other elements to it to switch up the design but now we don't have to add any we have to take it a bit by bit until you get to the end of it so it's fine then um one more thing before I, I leave the class you go to your cross elements let me go back okay the element once you check on the element you you get uh, some some elements which you can actually apply to your design to switch up your design do you understand there are some elements which there are some elements most of them which you can apply to switch up the design just to make it look more more mature than it was you can click up click up click up go to this particular until you find find about this abstract minimalist this abstract minimalist click tap on it you see so many so many options there are so many options there which you can choose you understand so you can actually choose this you understand you do see that you can actually choose this just to to shop your design not too much to make the design more more interesting I can take it up all right i'll take it down this is okay here i think this is okay here okay then i can actually i can actually apply another one but don't uh, don't spoil your work with too much uh, effects or too much appliance don't spoil your work then i can still apply this particular one now this particular one i can apply it can you call it apply it I will start I will keep on increasing until it covers our full page okay I think it's covering our full page now I'll take it to the middle take it to the middle of our design so it's not the middle of our design wow <laughs> interesting so what we'll do now is don't bother it's covering our design we'll know we'll slide 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 go to transparency 
transparency click on transparency you reduce reduce it to probably reduce it to um i think three will be okay so let's reduce, reduce it to i think three three will be okay okay two is fine two is fine also we've reduced it to two already so now we're not take it back send backward send backward send to back just go ahead and click on send to back so it will not be at the back of our design do you see that so it's at the background it's at the back of our design so this is how to make uh, awesome designs you understand so in our next class we'll be learning some other features which you can add do you understand more especially try to ensure that your test is actually uh, guided with your grid like it's not outside the grid it's not outside the grid it's not outside your font where placed did you see that in our article the the, the design added well placed do you understand so always make sure that your design is in, in order you see the gap in here the gap in between this and this you try to gap your test do you understand you see that space here there should always be a space here there should always be a space between your title and your uh, your subheading there should always be a space then if there is a little test let's say there's a little test here let me go to test a little body test so you can actually include your little body test here Can actually include your little body test here in that particular order okay so so that's just for it you can actually increase your body test make sure it's no it's no more than the grid then you can type whatever thing you want to type you understand so you can go ahead and type whatever thing you want to add but it's fine sir so now i think we are done for i think we are done for today's class you understand okay so all right goodbye see you in our next design you understand see you in our next design.